You know, Branson, Missouri hasn't changed much since the early 1900s. Let's take a buggy ride. Hi, Chisai. Well, howdy, ma'am. Morning, Chisai. Branson hasn't changed much since the early 1900s. Or has it? Start spreading the news. Starting today. The old phrase, a star is born, was never more appropriate than October 11, 1947. On this date, Anne Seth Chisai Childs began her 6,437-mile journey to Branson following her birth in Tokyo, Japan, which explains her first name. She acquired her U.S. citizenship from her father, who was a colonel in the armed forces. He for Texas. When returning to the U.S., the family settled in Grapevine, Texas, where Chisai, as she preferred to be known, became an entertainer at an early age. No business like show business Her first performance was at age six when she won the Mini Pearl Talent Contest, forever catching the showbiz bug. In 1965, she was named Miss Talented Teen and toured seven countries while entertaining servicemen at USO shows, performing with such notables as Bob Hope. By the early 1970s, Chisai was already a successful business member of the Fort Worth area. She owned and operated her own dance studio. It was in January 1975, Chisai partnered up with the legendary Johnny High to open the famous and historical Grapevine Opry. Together, Chisai and Johnny created what they called a first-class professional family show. Chisai produced the show using more than 50 different acts to put together each performance. With a background in comedy, she interspersed her singing with comedy bits during the show. It quickly became the fastest growing country music show in America and held two performances every Saturday night. The second show of the evening was broadcast live on FM radio. On the road again. On Saturday, June 30th, 1979, Chisai was notified that Willie Nelson wanted to sing on the Opry. Chisai thought it was a joke until Willie walked into her dressing room. A few minutes later, Willie gave a standing room only performance to about 2,000 fans. Chisai said Willie made it cool for country music stars to just drop in at the Opry. In 1981, her longtime love for country music sparked an idea for Chisai move the Grapevine Opry from Texas to Branson, Missouri. It was this monumental decision that led to the formation of Branson's ninth music show when she began performing in Branson's original Starlight Theater located on West 76 Country Boulevard. Ozark Mountain Country soon discovered the Belle of Branson. Chisai was definitely one of the pioneers of the Branson show scene. She became a trailblazer by expanding the style of entertainment going on at that time. She was really the first person to bring production elements to the Branson theater scene. It's been appropriately said, Chisai took Branson out of overalls and put them in rhinestones. From multiple costume changes and dancing, to tributes to Broadway and national celebrities, she brought a new flair to the town, and audiences loved it. Many entertainers got their start in Branson at the invitation of Chisai. Names like Shoji Dabuchi, Doug Gabriel, Buddy Green, Lori Locke, Cliff Wagner, John and Paul Cody, Joe Tinoco, and many others. 
she started the very first backstage tour, which included her dressing room, complete with crystal candelabra hanging from the ceiling, lighted mirrors reflecting racks of costumes with glittering rhinestones. She had her own television show, Chisai and the Ozarks, which aired on Springfield Channel 33 every Saturday night. She also had the first live radio show from Branson, Boxcar's Bandstand, which starred the late Boxcar Willie. Her renditions of Ahab the Arab and One's on the Way became her signature songs. One's on the way. Oh, gee, I hope it ain't twins again. Following her years of performing, she transitioned into a role of Mother Hen to many of the shows and performers. She freely gave show ideas, always gave away costumes she kept in her possession to performers who she thought needed them. She was a cheerleader behind many of your favorite smiles. Branson owes a lot of thanks to Chisai. Her road was sometimes rocky, but she never gave up on herself and those she loved. In her last few months with us, she married David Burby, and her shining smile was the size of Texas. On March 1, 2017, she took her final bow and moved on to her heavenly home. Chisai was one of a kind and won't ever be forgotten. There is no doubt Chisai Childs will forever be the Belle of Branson. Yeah.